Well guys, here's a quick update of the Tumblr go-kart. That's where the poor thing is sitting. Yeah. Just sitting on the side of my shop here. What I did is I removed the rear end, the back two big tires, and the engine. Took those off. And then, uh, well actually the two tires and the engine ended up on that machine right there. So I did build my own Batmobile bike. Isn't that impressive? <laughs> hey, but it's fun as hell to ride. Don't give me no shit. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, so uh, some stuff that I have noticed that I've been told by other people. Well, the guys who have built full-size versions of these all seem to have the same problem I have. Steering. Apparently, this rod right here that you see that helps out with the steering. Because that rod goes all the way up and then connects to, well, on mine, it's a rack and pinion. Uh, because of this type of steering setup, it makes it extremely difficult to turn this thing while it's sitting still. The only way you can turn this is to, you know, turn your wheels is when you're rolling. It seems like they all ha seem to have the same problem. A lot of people have asked me how come I put the cutout in the top. Well, you got to understand that if you're sitting in this thing as a person, from right there to right there, you've got a massive blind spot right there that is a gigantic blind spot in this vehicle if this car were to ever go onto the production line well they would never make it to the production line because department of transportation would never give the okay to something like this the blind spots in these things are just irately crazy but this here on the other hand that's one reason why i did the cutout a lot of people are saying oh you'll cut your head off well no you won't i've got this big old one inch gap so this isn't sharp uh, don't have no seating in it. It's gotten all dirty. Ugh. You can see I've got the rack and pinion set up on the inside there. I still have to do a lot of work to this thing, and that's probably what I'll be doing on this channel. Is I want to put in some better uh, pedals, uh, gas, and brake. I want to be doing some uh, dual hydraulic brake system on the rear end. Uh, let's see. I want to get a larger engine for it. Uh, like I've explained a few times, I'm thinking I'll probably just go as cheap as I can with as much power as I can and probably get like some simple little Harbor Freight uh, engine that goes in the back here. I'd like, if, if I had the money, I would go out and get myself a snowmobile engine with a torque converter so that way this thing could have a lot of, lot of power and stuff. Uh, but this design that I have here is not designed for speed. And the reason is, if you can see how the front arms articulate, because yes, there is suspension in the front end here. Uh, let me go around the front here. See the springs? Those springs right there is what gives the front end this suspension. Those springs used to be a big old long spring that went on a hay bale kick arm on those big round hay balers. Well, they have a kick arm that's on there that helps uh, once the hay is baled into the big giant round uh, bundle, then this arm kicks it off and kind of pushes it off the rack while the tractor is still moving. Well, I cut those down and put two on each arm, and that's my suspension right there. Kind of funny though, but yeah. With that kind of suspension, since they're just springs and I have no suppressors in there, this thing starts to bounce going fast. I've had, uh, when I had that little 6.5 horsepower on here, uh, I drove it around a lot more than what I put on video. And I was going downhill once, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> uh, I was going faster than the engine was, going, was putting out, and my front end started to bounce. Now, I don't know if it's because of the tires. I know that these tires that I bought are, I mean, they're cool, but the thing is is that they came unbalanced. So they're not balanced. So part of that bounce from this thing was coming from the tires. And some of it was probably coming from the suspension because there is no dampeners on the suspension at all. So once she starts to bounce, she'll start to keep going 
getting worse and worse and worse when it comes to driving. I put four wings on instead of the classic six. I put those uh, vents in there instead of just the standard gaping hole. Uh, let's go in the back here. Ugh. Yeah, I got weeds growing over. I gotta get some uh, better shocks for it. You know, I'm looking at at least another 800 bucks investing into this thing. Uh, what you're looking at now totally cost me about 2200 2100 2200 Well, initially, what you guys see on the video was 2100 But I turned around and went out and bought an actual rack and pinion for the steering because the one that you saw in the video was an offset pivot. So... I got rid of that, hacked that out of there, and then actually put in a rack and pinion steering in this thing. And let me see, what else? Uh, yeah, so 2200 bucks so far is what it costs to build this up. Uh, and yeah, I'm looking at at least another 800 to 1,000 more uh, putting in the seat. Uh, putting in the right type of pedals, right type of engine. Probably go down to Harbor Freight and get one of those little 13 or 16 horsepower engines. You know, this is a novelty car, you guys. This isn't, you know, you can't look at this thing and expect it to perform like the movie crap. So, yeah. Uh, then, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I gotta do. I wanna get a torque converter for it. Uh, don't really wanna deal with any getting bigger tires than you know, I'll have to reorder some more tires since the existing tires are on that bike. And that thing's just too damn fun and I don't want to take it apart. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, I've said this in a few of my other videos, but um, for you new subscribers, what you're looking at right there is my second build I've ever done in my life. The first build... I used to have a Ford Ranger. That's a Ford Ranger right there, which is mine also, but I used to have an older model than that. And on that Ford Ranger, I had, where is it at? You see that truck back there with that boat on it? Okay, the rack that's on the back of that truck used to be on my old truck. So that rack right there was my first project that I ever built, my first serious project with steel. The Batmobile was my second. The Batmobile was the second serious build I ever did in my life, right there. The build after that was the go-kart with the little slide on the front end, with the boat seat on it. Yeah. And then after that, uh, I did that little one right there, with the kids not, so the kids could just push it around. <laughs> then after that, I did... Um, I did another build that I just hacked apart, and which was a reverse trike quad type of thing. But I hooked, I hacked that thing all apart to build that green go kart that's in back there. Let's walk over here and check it out. This green one right here, which is my little boys, built that up for them. This one here is my daughter's. This is the A cart right here. You see in some of my other videos. That's the C cart, because his his name's Cody. <laughs> this one here is just the push cart, kids push cart, that's all it is. School with a bar seat. <laughs> Actually, it's not a bar seat, it's just a seat that goes into a you know, kitchen stool. That's all it is. One person sits on it and steers, while the other one pushes on the two bars and then jumps onto the back, onto that plate. Next one after that, well, let's see here. After Cody's cart is this bike. This bike is the next build that I did. This is my most recent one right now as you're watching this video. Depending upon when you're watching this video, I'll probably have more builds. But yeah. And ended up getting myself a little quad. Got to get that thing fixed up. This little green manco right here is junk. I'm probably going to get rid of that. No, I'm not going to ship it off to anybody. Before anybody starts asking, hey, will you sell it to me when you live over in Maine? No, I live over here in Montana. The shipping cost would be more than what that thing's worth. 
That build right there is the reverse trike slash quad thing that I built up. Uh, that uh, is part, I parted that out to build Cody's go-kart, the green one. And I'm still slowly parting it out, taking wheels and spindles and stuff like that off of it. So that's where we're at right now. Built up the whole shop too when we moved into this place. So this whole building, I built that up too. Yeah, I'm one motivated son of a bitch, I tell ya. But anyways guys, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers to this channel, T-Man's channel. And I'm going to be doing a few more videos on this channel. I don't know how well the weather is going to be working out for us, but I'm going to try to get some tires on that Batmobile and then I'll be able to push it in here and hopefully be working on it. Probably around, uh, God, I don't know when. Every time I put a date on something, it always changes. So hopefully I'll be able to do it sometime soon. All right, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.